What's going on guys? I'm coming back with another video. Here today to give you my reaction to this new Fabio Foreign song. What is it called? Suvi Theaters? Suvi Theaters. We're going to see. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, let me know what y'all think of this. I, I got rid of my mic, or not I got rid of it, but I stopped using my mic. I felt like compared to the like actual audio of the... Uh, compared to the actual audio of the like the video itself the mic always felt really loud and, and i didn't like that sort of like audio like how like basically whenever i spoke it felt a lot louder than the actual video so i'm just going without a mic for now let me know if y'all like the change uh sorry to hear from favi always one of my favorite artists from new york that being said as some of you might know i wasn't crazy about his last record uh a bit slower paced a bit disappointing um and the writing wasn't where it needed to be in my eyes to make up for um the more like slower paced uh you know less mainstream aesthetic um but we decided to get into a new one uh see where he's at see what we're doing let's let's get into it he said, how you get a new movie, get a new movie, get a new movie, style, they can't keep up with this shit, my suit, do you know how it go? To be clear, by the way, I've said this on multiple occasions, I think that there are two paths for Fabi to really take, um, that being keep the same style, keep the same production, but improve the writing, or keep the same writing and improve the music and production. And I would definitely prefer the former. I think Fabi, you know, has more potential as a rapper. And I think his style and his bag is still relatively, especially at this point, relatively unique. Um, you know, he he sort of rides over the, the very classic drill beats um, and is not quite as sullen as, you know, uh, Chef G or Sleepy Hollow. But I really just, what I want from him has always been better well i should say more consistent bars and you know when he's going to talk about the conscious stuff sort of have that be a full like thought rather than just miscellaneous bars here and there hey chef g free chef g free I like how the, I ain't gonna lie, the energy around this song. I'm already, I'm already. Let I, I hope he don't let me down, but I'm already seeing the vision. Let's see what you got, Fabi. I like this beat a lot. Favi's music, and I've talked about this before, one of the things I like the most about Favi's music is the motivational aspect to his soundscape that merges with the lyrics themselves. I don't know if that's necessarily his best bag, but it's one of his strongest bags is like this motivational boss talk um, that empowers you as the listener to do more and to be more. Um, and I really sort of like this sort of like ethereal epic sound. It, it, it takes on this greater strength than just a standard piano beat. And the way that the drill sound is implemented is like really, really good. I'm not gonna lie, so I think with this so far rapping wise, 
I think I like the bars individually. I like that he's just speaking on his experience. He's being descriptive. Um, and I, I do appreciate that. Again, I just wish there was a bit more on the organization front, you know? Um, and it's something I got to talk about more when we get into Conway. But um, I don't, you know, at this point, I'm at the place where I, I know these guys can rap well. I know these guys can hit me with bars, but can you give me a thought process? Can you give me a full laid out point, uh, you know, what your song is about kind of thing? Um, and it's not that this song, like, to be clear, I like this song. And this is a typical Fabi bag, but I want Fabi to grow. I want to see him get better, right? And I think the path for him to get better is going to be him. Again, that's why I'm harping on this. Like, I want to see him, like, come with, like, more dense themes. But I do, um, I th this seems like just sort of the, the you know, the one foot in, one foot out uh, dynamic. Um, and uh, sort of the, the ties he has in the, in the community he has. Let me go back, actually. Dixie, y'all give no F's. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I like this. Let's see. I like this song. I, 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 I actually like this song. It kind of feels like a return to form overall for Fabi. And I think when he's taking this time to like, again, the bars aren't connected, but the bars, each bar means something to him. And you can tell that each bar means something to him. I like this slower pace flow. I love that. I love that running flow that he does. And I and 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 maybe this is like a product of like just the studio, but like the way that he's like coming in before his first sentence is done. Ah, that father flow is never gonna get old. Bro. So I think overall, this song is about him making it out and growing into, you know, a mogul and growing into like a more wealthy person, but more, but the nature of the song is more tailored to his experience making it out, not just the general experience. So he's got, again, he's got the one foot in, one foot out thing. He's got the clout chasing angle because... This isn't just a come up story, it's his come up story and what he's had to deal with when coming up. Uh, so that, yeah. Like I said, like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I and Fabi ain't never, I, I say it right now, I ain't never heard a bad chorus from Fabi on everything I love. Free Chef G. Chef G is free. Let's go. I like this. I like this song. I like this song a lot. Like I said, it's definitely a return. To, it's definitely a return to form overall. It's it's not like anything super outside of the box or crazy necessarily, but just standard Favi doing the fire things that standard Favi does. Um, and I'm and I'm always I'm always happy to see that. You know what I mean? Uh, let me know what y'all thought of this in the comment section below. I really enjoyed this song. With that being said, peace, y'all.